And welcome inside 302 Sports. Nick Allison Jr. alongside my partner today for some Blue Hen Championship action. Jason Winchell and Jay, we had a great bracket reveal yesterday. Now back here on Saturday for the start of some... Check, check one, check two. Passing one, two. There's a three pointer. Yeah. Check one, check two. And we're back here on 302 Sports Blue Hen Championship Saturday here. You just saw Bones Highland hit a three, and then AI answers right back. Number 23, Jemai Murph, or excuse me. I don't have a 23 on my roster here, Jay. They must have did some jersey switching with us. Yeah, I was just sad. Unless I just got the numbers wrong. 20. Check, check. So 3-3 three, three here early in this one. There it goes. Testing. I can I can hear stuff now. Yeah. Yeah. Check check check. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can, hear, I can hear Jay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, we're having some technical, technical difficulties. difficulties, but we should be good back here now. Welcome inside St. Mark's High School, my alma mater for the Blue Hen Championship game between St. George's Road Tech Hawks and the AI DuPont Tigers. And Jay, it's been a very eventful first couple of minutes here. Some threes exchanging each way. Bones starting off the game for the Hawks with a three. Kyle Morgan answered down the other way for AI DuPont. Yes. And then another three here that we missed while we had some technical difficulties and a 6-3 early lead for St. George's. Yes. I was, like you said, it's been a battle of the three-pointer so far in this one. So we'll see what they do, working the ball around here. It's going to be an open three in the corner, no good. Offensive rebound, though, underneath for the Hawks. Lost out of bounds, though, and he'll head back to the Tigers. Hey, uh, DuPont, your flight B champions. First, your flight A champions, St. George's Hawks here at St. Mark's High School. And A.I. DuPont, very good season so far here. They get it down low in the post, good move down low, couldn't get it to go, it was Daniel Bernard, and now it's come St. George the other way. No look pass by Nabones Highland to a wide open layup there for Ahmad Taylor. That's one thing St. George's does well, Nick, is they get out in transition, and there, that's nicely done. Extends the lead to five. You can already feel the intensity picking up here early in this Blue Hen Championship game. Good crowd here on hand and an early timeout for this for AI here to start. Yeah, I think that's a good timeout. Just uh, try and regroup. I think he wants to uh, worry about the transition defense because the last time St. George's was able to hit him on a transition bucket. But a good pace to start this one early, Nick. As we say, uh, yesterday was the reveal show, so the teams know where they are going to be playing, and uh, boys start Tuesday night. So this is a good tune -up, last tune-up game for both these teams, and it's for the Blue Hen Championship, which bragging rights. Absolutely, and we had a chance to do the Blue Hen Championship game last year as well, and just like you just said, 
How big is it for these two teams, knowing that the state tournament's right around the corner, but they still have to play in this Blue Head Championship game? Might not mean anything for seeding, but like you said, for morale and just to get hot right. as you head into the state yeah, tournament. Yeah, you, you know, you, uh, we saw it last night, the head loop, and you get trophies, all that good stuff. So, And for St. George's, they're going to have a first round bye, so it's nice to have a game here uh, you know, today to uh, get work out some things. Absolutely. So Rashawn George bringing it up for the Tigers. He'll hand it off to Jameer Dantley. George on the drive, tries to get up the right hand, blocked underneath, I believe it was Highland. And now St. George is in transition the other way. What a block from behind. The putback, though, is good for St. George's. Number 14, Kevin Payton comes in and gets the putback to go. And there again, St. George is on transition. Uh, the first shot doesn't fall, but the putback is there. Extend this lead. 10-3 early lead for St. George's here at St. Mark's High School. Both teams battling it out for the Blue Hen Championship. Drive and kick here for AI. George gets it back over to Dantley. Dantley now calls for the screen. They'll double him. Ball's on the floor. He almost lost it. Gets it back. But put his hand on the ground. The ball on the floor. So called for the travel. Yeah, good job. Again, by the St. George's defense has been all over AI early in this one. So now St. George is back on the offensive end here. 4.30 ticking here in the first quarter. Thought about the pass there, held it in, gets it to the high post. Nice bounce pass down low. Was looking for McCants, the big man, the senior 6'6 forward. For the Hawks, couldn't handle it. He's having a great year for St. George's. He gives them that inside presence that you're going to need if you match up with Sanford and Dover later on in the tournament. And we had a chance to do the game earlier this year with them in St. Elizabeth's, and he was a big factor in that game. And St. George's got the win. This is going to be a Dantley three. A little bit too strong off the right end of the rim and out of bounds. So ball back to the Hawks. And St. George's 10-3 lead here, 4-12 to go in the first. So now we have some subs here for the Tigers. Number five, Roland Rollins will check in. Dantley will take a seat here early, the senior. AI travels to Newark on Tuesday for the first round game. And that should be just on paper. It sounds like a really good matchup here to yeah. start the state tournament. But will they be heading into that matchup as the Blue Hen champions as Bone launches another three? That one's short. Loose ball, and now it's AI. Three on two the other way. Kyle Morgan draws the foul. I believe it was on the floor. Yeah, I, say, I think it's on the floor, so they'll inbound. I believe that's the first foul of the game. I believe it is as well. So more subs here for the Tigers. Dantley checks right back in. Rashawn George will head out. And now they're set to inbound under the basket. Launch up top to Dantley. He reels it in. 3.53 to play here in the first. Nice jab step right, goes left, throws the shot up there. And we have another foul, I believe this one also on the floor. And just the second team foul, but the both on this possession for AI. So they're starting to take the ball inside and draw. So AI to inbound now under the basket. Yeah, 10-3, 348 here still to go in the first quarter. Danley will inbound for AI. Tries they almost let it go there. Both guys looking at him, Kyle Morgan and Sean Warner. Not sure who's going to get it. Now it's going to be a Morgan three in and out. That uh -huh. one was halfway down. And he got robbed there, Nick. Still 10-3, 335 to go. St. George is now the other way. Ball in the hands of Kevin Payton. McCants up top here. We'll see what he does if he calls for the screen. Tries to get it to McCants. It's tipped by Dantley. And now it's Morgan and Dantley the other way. Two on two AI. And what a block in transition there by St. George's. I believe that was Ahmad Taylor. We know how great defensively he is. And then the other way for St. George's, they get two. Tyrese Owens. Yeah, there again, all set up by the defense. They get the steal and, and convert it on the other way. So St. George's starting off this game pretty hot here. 12 to 3 lead here early as we tick under three minutes in the first quarter. Sean Warner now will drive left, dribble handoff to Morgan. Stuck in the corner, tries to get it back to him. Loose ball, Warner gets it at the foul line. He'll kick it out. Stanley thought about the three in the corner, but he 
gets called for the wall. So turnover there, ball back to St. George's. And a 12 to three lead here early for your St. George's Hawks. And again, thanks for joining us here on 302 Sports. Nick Allison Jr. alongside Jason Winchell, Nick Halliday, and Nick Hall up on the camera. So ball now gonna be brought up by Lamar Wright. Tries to get it down low to Taylor. Good defense though by AI. Daniel Bernard gets hand on, and now it's gonna be an Owens three from the corner. Long rebound, almost went to Taylor. Now it's Danley the other way for the Tigers. Kicks it to the corner. Now we have a loose ball. St. George's dives on it, and we're gonna have a foul right. call here, I believe. It looks like it'll go against AI, and Dan, no, excuse me. It's gonna be Rashawn George, the sophomore guard. Yeah, just the first team foul for AI here. So 219, 12 to three again, early lead for St. George's. Lamar Wright, Ahmad Taylor, McCants, Highland, and Naaman Tucker, your lineup for the Hawks right now. For AI, you're looking at Bream Kelson, Rashawn George, Sean Warner, Daniel Bernard, as that three is launched, no good for Highland, rebound up for grabs, reeled in by Dantley, and again, here comes AI quickly the other way, and what? And that was a big time defensive play there by number 22 for St. George's, Naaman Tucker, who came out of nowhere to block that shot, kind of like that Giannis blocked the other night yes, yeah. for the, or against the Celtics. But that'll send number two, Daniel Bernard, the senior to the free throw line. St. E's needs, or um, <laughs> I need some, some points. There's one. And that first free throw gets it to go. Or was it no good? Don't worry, we will <laughs> raise our awareness as these techni technical no difficulties good. cease. As that foul shot though, no good there for Bernard. So AI still struggling to put yep. the ball in the hoop here early in this one, still first quarter, two minutes yep. to play. Jake 9 no run for St. George's after the 3-3 three, three start. Good look down low, McCants hauls it in, he's double teamed, gets it tipped away from him, but good job down low by the Hall. So 14 to three now, the lead for St. George's here in the Blue Hen Championship game. AI struggled offensively here to start this one. So now we'll see if AI can do here. George on the drive, gets it knocked out of bounds. Ball will remain with the Tigers here. 102 to play, 14 to three, still the lead. Yeah, and they, uh, they're just struggling right now on the offense end. They, they would like to see a ball go through the hoop. See if Danley can get something going for the Tigers here. He'll inbound. We're now ticked to a minute here in the first quarter. Like you said, Jay, three to start off for AI. Have not found the hoop since. That nice drive there. What I, like their, trip. what I like is they're taking the ball to the hole. And get at least draw on these fouls where they can, you know, hopefully make some free throws and get right back in this one. So now under a minute, now another ch more chance of free throws here. It'll be Brahim Kelson, the freshman point guard now at the charity stripe for AI. And his free throw no good. So AI struggling from the free throw line as well here early. So now second one on the way for Kelson is up and no good. So, but offensive rebound though winds up in the hands of Dantley. So AI with a second chance here. Warner, pass to the corner. Dantley, his open three. Bang. There you go. Much needed basket and comes right there at the uh, end of the quarter. Big time basket there for Dantley. Cuts this lead to eight. Now 35 seconds to go here in the first quarter for your Blue Hen Championship game between AI and St. George's. Live here on 302 Sports, cross-court pass over to Lamar Wright. 
McCann stuck in the corner. Gonna have to put it on the floor, back out to right now, 20 on the clock. And good defense there by AA. AI causes the St. George's timeout. So St. George's, 14 to six lead, 18.8 here. We'll see what they draw up for the final shot. Right, I sub, he didn't like something there, so he calls the timeout, he yep. sort of set something up, and 18-8. This is a good, good first quarter out for St. George's. And I was gonna say, like you said, very emphatic, right, in, right, we're right next to the St. George's yep. uh, bench here, and he's screaming for that timeout. He gets the call, 18.8 to go. He had to go down the sideline a little to get the referee's yeah. attention. But uh, good start uh, for his uh, team here today. Great today. start for St. George's. Like you said, Bones got it going for the Hawks, knocking down that three to get the game started. And St. George's been flowing ever since. But we've seen some great plays on the defensive end. Nana yes. Tucker, Ahmad Taylor, they've been had some big-time blocks that you might see on the top plays next week. Absolutely. And, it, you know, it's been solid back here. Don't forget that uh, all our playoff games that we are going to cover will be on the NFH. S Network, powered by 302 Sports. Check now our we website. Have a whistle, and it looks like a turnover here on St. George's. Yeah, offensive foul. Offensive looks like foul. It's like a push off on Highland. And, and the, not the note here is that's the 16 foul already here in the first half. And we got a whole quarter to play. Yeah, I'll be shooting free throws the rest of the half. Murphy checks in for St. George's. Rinarelli couldn't get in in time. And now 10 seconds here for AI as we close down the first quarter. 14 to six lead for St. George's. Warner bounce pass into the corner, but off his foot, it goes to Brahim Kelson. Couldn't handle that bounce pass, and now the Hawks are looking at three and a half seconds to play here. Again, a couple subs in here. So two seconds now for St. George's. It's going to be a half. No matter where you are in life, at every stage, we are here for you, for all of life's big moments and everything in between. After all, that's what families are for. We promise to make a positive difference in your financial life and go beyond the norm. Be a part of the Dover Federal family. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. No matter where you are in life, at every stage, we are here for you, for all of life's big moments and everything in between. After all, that's what families are for. We promise to make a positive difference in your financial life and go beyond the norm. Be a part of the Dover Federal family. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. No matter where you are in life, at every stage, we are here for you, for all of life's big moments and everything in between. After all, that's what families are for. We promise to make a positive difference in your financial life and go beyond the norm. Be a part of the Dover Federal family. Local people, local decisions, Dover. And we are back here. And we are back here live inside 302 Sports. Nick Allison, Drini, Jason Winchell here for your Blue Hen Championship game between the AI DuPont Tigers and the St. George's Hawks. And St. George's got out to a hot start. They now lead 14 to six as we begin the second quarter, Jay. And AI struggled a little bit offensively, but St. George's, they look pretty good here to start. Yeah, they have. And uh, you know, they really was hitting the shots early. And then defensively, they were all over the place. Yeah, very, a lot of energy defensively there. Maybe a little bit too much as Dantley attempted the three and a hand on him there from Kevin Payton. So it may be two or three free throws coming for Demir Dantley here. We'll have to wait and see. I believe it's three. And again, uh, more importantly, I believe that's the 17 foul. So they'll be shooting free throws the rest of the way. So now two free throws, like you mentioned earlier. They could be shooting free throws the rest of this game. Danley knocks down the free throw. So the first free throw for AI. They were 0 for 4 on the first four attempts.
misses the second there. So 14 to seven, seven point lead. And another free throw here, the last of three for Jameer Danley. One of two so far, and then two of three overall. Yeah, like you said, that's good. So 14 to eight after the Dantley free throws. And I believe we're gonna have another foul on St. George's. An eight team foul already. That's a eight to one here, eight fouls like you said, Jay. And when you're trailing, that's a good way to get back in the game if you can knock down some free throws. And you're right, I mean overall in terms of just game plays, that first free throw is good for Daniel Bernard. And the fouls are piling up on St. George's players. You're going to have to, you know, play with, you know, more careful on the defense end. So now Bernard's second free throw on the way for him is up and good. So two for two from the line for Bernard. And AI started to put some points together here, 14 to 10. Just now a two-possession game, four-point lead. Seven minutes to go here still in the first half. They haven't started the clock yet. Mine's going to be all off. Not going to matter. Clock or no clock, there's the big fella. Michael McCants knocks down the mid-range jump shot. And they're going to take some time off here. I was at 6.45. They should have asked me. That's, <laughs> That's a good point, Jay. <laughs> so now some subs now for St. George's. Blake Bryant, the sophomore guard, checks. And a lot of bodies hitting the floor for St. George's here in this Yeah, one. and this is good. That's a good thing about having a deep bench like St. George's has. There's Bones doing it on the defensive end there. Then going to trap immediately. This St. George's defense has been good. Dantley on the drive. Blocked by McCants. And quickly up ahead to Bones. Could see a highlight here. Throw it down. Missed it. Now the other way. It's AI. Four on two. The drive, nice move there to get to the basket. Rashawn George. That's a uh, that's a four point swing right there. And missed dunk on one end, the layup on the other, and that's a good uh, break for AI. Nice finish through the contact there for Rashawn George, the sophomore guard. Right back in this game, still a four point game though. Ball underneath, tipped out of bounds by George. So good defense now for AI and started to pick up some momentum. Yes, they're get, getting traction out on there and it's all set up because they're getting to the foul line and getting some points. So now Bones will inbound under the basket for the Hawks. 6-10 to play, they're up four. He's gonna try a quick corner three and got it, nothing but net. This little give and go off the inbound for Bones. Yeah, no, when he's uh, on like that, he's unstoppable to guard. That puts the St. George's lead to seven. He's been hot in that corner over there. Two, two triples from that corner, good defense there by Bones. Gets the deflection and now the steal. Nice pass down low. No look, and he whizzed that one down there. Taylor didn't even see it coming. Yeah, that had a lot of mustard on it. Especially when you're not looking at yep. him. That can catch you a little bit off guard, but a great pass there. Yeah, and he showed his vision on that. Out of bounds, though. It will be a turnover, so AI gets the ball back. Still down seven. And now it's George. Bones on him. Gets by Bones. Drives in the paint. Up with the right hand. Off the glass and got it to go. I like how he finishes there. The big men are coming to block him. He scoops it up and off the glass. Great touch there by Rashawn George. That's the second time we've seen him with that move. Drive to the basket there. 19-14. Bones kick to the corner. It's going to be a pliant three. The lefty. No good. Rebound hauled in by Rashawn George, and then he gets fouled and in the backcourt. Right, and now you again they're going to go shoot some free throws. So we'll walk the floor here, We're talking about those fouls early on in the first quarter, and really helping out AI here in the first half. That's the ninth team foul on St. George's. And now some subs coming in for the Hawks. Number 22, Naaman Tucker checks back in. Kevin Payton, he'll take a seat. And now some free throws coming for AI. And the front end of the one and one, no good rebound to Bones. 
So the free throws, <laughs> yeah, they're huge. Good for right, and that's one thing I'm sure they're going to want to clean up come tournament time. Same spot though, same result for Brian on the three, no good. Now AI quickly the other way, hands off, it's Warner on the block, he bounce passes it down low. Good block again this time by Naaman Tucker. And AI will have to reset. Yeah, that defense for St. George's inside has been unbelievable so far in this one. Danley's got some space, he wants a deep three, no good, rebound to Bones. And they'll slow it down. Yeah, that's smart, especially when you have nine team fouls and the lead, just to slow it down a little bit, get your offense back in rhythm. Now it's McCants, high post kick to the corner. Blake Bryant, different corner this time. That three also won't go. 0 for 3 to start for the young guard He's here. getting good looks. Yeah, those uh, are good as looks. a coach, I'm going to encourage him to keep shooting it because, I mean, he's got the looks. Sooner or later, they'll knock him down. Absolutely. And you know, his teammates got the confidence in him. Nice up and under scoop score there for Jameer Dantley. He could get to the basket so easily, and I like how he finishes around the rim. 19-16, three-point lead now for St. George's. AI coming back here in the second. Great defense by Sean Warner. Picks Bones' pocket, now it's AI the other way. Dantley, and there's Bones, though, doing it again on his defensive end. Yeah, that's one. If Bones gets his pocket clean. He doesn't salt. He goes back there, makes the defensive play on that end to get, uh, at least give uh, his team the chance to get back. In fact, it's a turnover. Save two points there for St. George's. I mean, the effort here for St. George, I mean, for both teams has been great, but St. George is flying all over the court here. AI starting to get it together here in the second quarter as well. 19-16, under four minutes we go here in the first half of the Blue Hen Championship. It's been an exciting one so far, Nick. Yes, it has. Bones again with one of these very good passes, or excuse me, fast passes down low again. That one, though, tipped, and that's good defense by AI. Yeah, AI is on the defense end, has really picked it up the last few possessions. Danley, the kick. Thought about the three was Rollins. He'll hand it off to Kelson. And now Dantley back up top, 328 in the first half. Goes around Owens. Kick to Warner in the corner. He'll drive baseline. Good defense there by Janine Murphy. Forces another oh, AI turnover. turnover. Wow, yeah. Great defense there. The ball back to St. George's. This is the kind of way it's been so far here in the first half. Every time AI can cut that deficit down to three or four, St. George's gets a turnover, forces a stop, and gets the yes. ball back and yep. usually scores. So we'll see if AI can put together a stop here as Bones dribbles up 313 here in the first half. Piling around the McCann screen. Deep three for Bones, short off the front end of the rim. And now quickly the other way comes Rashawn George. He's been good at getting to the basket. There he is again with the right hand off the glass. 19-18, a one-point game here in the first half of your Blue Hen Championship as we tick under three minutes. Here comes George now, the defense on Bones. He splits the defenders up with the right hand, and nice finger roll for two. Yeah, good job by Bones getting to the basket. Good so answer Bones there. Answers, like you said, Jay, great answer there by Bones. 2.35 to play, three-point lead for St. George's. Danley crossovers left, spins right, lost the ball to Owens. Tries to get it up top, finds Bones. And he gets fouled from behind. And now we have a little getting chippy out there here in your blue hand. And now you have game. to be careful because now you're starting to get in tournament time. Any, yes, very, great any, point. any suspensions or technical fouls or get kicked out of a game, all of a sudden you might be out of a tournament game. So, yeah, Absolutely. Great, point great job by the officials getting in there. Now the crowd getting into it as well here. So we're going to have a hand check foul here. And then I believe a... Uh-oh, headband's coming off for Bones. Who knows? LeBron acted his play, activated yes. his playoff mode. Bones could be activating his Blue Hen Championship by ripping off that headband. We'll have to wait and see. Still St. George's. They got a three-point lead, 225 to go. Here in the first half, live from St. Mark's. Bones will inbound. And that's only the second team foul. That's why St. George is inbound to the ball. So Rashawn George right back up in the grill of Bones here. Defensively, he goes around the McCants screen. Gets around another defender. And then draws the contact from Brahim Kelson. So it looks like we have another foul here on AI. 
And that's the one thing now, uh, after a little skirmish like that, now you're going to see a game called, probably called a little tighter too. So we'll see how that affects both teams here. Kyle Morgan back in for AI. Bones now up top. Kicks it to the corner. Owens will drive baseline. He gets tripped. So three straight fouls here the way of AI DuPont. But again, still not hitting that bonus mark. No, like you said, it's three in a row, but only the fourth team foul. So now Bones inbound under the basket, 21-18. So a three-point lead for them. It's been a great second quarter, great first half. And Bones will get it quickly into McCants. Cross court over to Tucker. Now it's Owens, top of the key. Nice pass to Bones, has some room. Good defense by AI there. And loose ball, it's on the floor. Diving there, I believe, was Dantley. And there you go, great effort. But I believe it will remain with the Hawks. It might have been out of bounds. So under two minutes now, Jay, three-point game. Yeah. Bones again to inbound, and we have another stoppage. I believe an offensive foul this time. Looks like they're going to get McCants on a push. So the big man down low, I guess, is asserting himself too much. They'll mm -hmm. get him for the offensive foul. And I believe we'll Are we walk walking the floor. The floor? I would think, I would thought the offensive foul would be uh, negate the free throws, but. Well, it looks like it'll send Daniel Bernard back to the free throw line. And that's the 10th team foul, so if that's the case, if they're shooting free throws. And they're talking about it right now. And, and they, they are going to shoot them. So it must have been something away from the ball. And like you mentioned earlier, things were getting chippy. Maybe it was something along those lines that the refs just had to call. And the yeah, first and free throw is good. These refs, these refs in Delaware do a great job, so... And like you said, they stepped in right away, prevented anything, and now they're going to call the game the way they see fit. And the second free throw for Bernard, in and out, no good. Rebound to Bones. Bones scoring, getting some rebounds and assists, doing it all here for St. George's early. They've got a two-point lead, under two minutes in the first half. Another try pass there. It winds up in the hands of McCants, and we've seen some of those passes. They're so fast. When they get tipped, they can fly every which way. Yeah. That time ended in the hands of McCants, and he finishes. I know St. George gets the point there, but good active hands by AI yeah. to at least try and get the uh, turnover. But like you said, with the, as much mustard as on that. Yeah, I mean, those are flying. And, and he's doing the no look. He'll look left and throw it right, so right. you're not sure where it's coming. And and if they've, they've gotten to the destination a few times, and they've been very pretty. Sometimes the teammates unable to handle them. That one, good defense by AI. They got the tip on it. So 23-19, 137 to play, Jay, in what's been a great first half of the Blue Hen Championship game. Both teams, the one thing we can say for sure is both teams are really playing 100% here today, and that's one thing you cannot always be sure of when the tournament's already decided, your seed is decided, you're going into the state tournament next week, but both of these teams still giving it 110% here in their Blue Hen yeah, Championship. Yeah, and I think we saw that last night in the Henlopen, uh, especially on the girls' side. Yeah, I was really game. impressed by Cape Henlopen. And, uh, I, you know, they're the eighth seed. That quarterfinal game against uh, St. Elizabeth's, that could be great because Cape Henlopen's got the size. And uh, they, they, it was nice getting this, get to see some teams that we haven't seen play. Uh, but it was exciting again. Both teams, uh, all four teams down there gave it all, and I expect it here too. I think I always think it's the bragging rights, you know. You, you can take home the Henlopen trophy. You can take home the Blue Hen trophy. It's got an importance, and like you said, it, it, you can work on some things before the state tournament starts. Uh, you know, it starts Tuesday and Wednesday night, so I mean, it, it's right around it's the right corner. Literally a few days away, and the Woodbridge 20-0 entering that game last night. So that's the kind of games that you're having here. Some great teams battling it out for these conference championships. And another one here, Danley thought about the three. We'll pack it back in, kicks it over to George. Under a minute 30 now here in the first half for the Blue Hen Championship game live from St. Mark's High School here in Wilmington, Delaware. Rollins now back to George. Being patient here on offense are the Tigers. George puts it on the floor, kick out to the corner. Good ball movement. Rollins wants a three from the top of the key. Long off the rim and out of bounds. Some more subs here. McCants will check back in. McCants has got two fouls, so he's got to be careful. And remember last time out, he picked one out on a illegal screen, so. 
23-19, 104 to play. And Jay, like we said, this is where the scores have been. Three, four point deficit or three, four point lead for St. George's. Yeah, after that 12 to two or 12 to three early start, AI has chipped away at this. Bones going around the screen, trying to find some room. Kicks it to the corner and out of bounds. That pass a little off the mark for Highland. And now the turnover. So now the offense and defensive switching here, I believe, for St. George's. And Bones, you can hear him yeah. in front of us. He's saying he thought it was tipped. So he's unhappy with the call. We didn't have a great view of it from yeah. where we were, so. So now 47 and a half seconds. AI will have the ball here now as we wind down the first half. Down four points are the Tigers. Gets it over into the hands of Rashawn George. He's been great on the penetration today, finishing with that right hand. If you're AI here, I'm playing for one shot. You make it, you you know, you cut it to two or one before halftime. If not, you're only trailed by four points. I would not give St. George's another opportunity on the offense end. And St. George has been very good off these long misses for AI. So if there was a shot and missed some time left, you, you'll know that Bones will take it and they'll go. So we'll see how long they wait here before they get their shot off as we hit 10 seconds. And if I'm St. George's, no fouls. Six seconds for Rashawn George, kicks it over. Kyle Morgan wants a three with three seconds left. In and out, the putback attempt, no good. And that will do it here for first half action. Yeah, what a great uh, job there by AI. They shot it with enough time where they had a chance to get an offensive rebound, but not enough time for St. George's to get a hoop at the other end. So. But what a great first half we had here today. Well, there you have it. First half in the books of your Blue Hen Championship live from St. Mark's here. St. George's, they lead AI DuPont 23-19. to We'll be back with first half stats and second half action live on 302 Sports. <laughs>
Unique Image opened for business in Wilmington, Delaware in 1979 with one focus, wowing our customers with great products and even greater customer service. 30 years later, we are still doing exactly that. Whether you're looking for marketing tools to promote your business, gifts for your employees or clients, or planning a special event, we're here with the voice of experience to help you every step of the way for your complete satisfaction. Visit our new showroom in the Mill Creek Shopping Center, 4577 Kirkwood Highway. Unique image, you envision, we create. And began his career in home finance in 2002 as a mortgage consultant. Since 2002, Brian has helped over 1,000 home buyers achieve their dreams of owning a home. Brian's knowledge of current market conditions and his detailed evaluation of buyers' finances ensures that each buyer will receive the best mortgage to fit their needs. Brian is often commended on how efficient and effortless he makes the mortgage process for everyone from first-time home buyers to investors to experienced buyers. For the loan that fits you, contact Brian to as a military wife, I love helping our airmen and their families with financial tools to help provide financial stability. I promise to make a positive difference in your financial life, from helping you to lower your payments to discovering ways to help you save for your children's future. From the needs of college students and first-time auto buyers, I promise to identify and take ownership of your needs. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Solo Concepts. Solo Concepts is an award-winning restaurant group on the culinary coast with 10 locations. We're a chef-driven group. Come check us out. See you soon. Solo Concepts believes in the vision of our founder, Matt Haley, cook beautiful, simple food, develop the people we work with, and make the world a better place. Solo Concepts on the culinary coast with 10 locations from Lois, Delaware to Fenwick Island. Come check us out. The Hadley Group is your local real estate resource. Brian Hadley joined Patterson Schwartz & Associates in 2005. In 2013, Nicole Flora joined Brian, followed by Emma Burnett and Grant Jepp in 2014. That's when the Hadley Group was formed. Patterson Schwartz Associates offer you exceptional knowledge of local market conditions and a commitment to represent you honestly and professionally. So for your next purchase or sale, think The Hadley Group. Visit our website at thehadleygroupre.com. The Hadley Group is your local real estate resource. Brian Hadley joined Patterson Schwartz & Associates in 2005. In 2013, Nicole Flora joined Brian, followed by Emma Burnett and Grant Jepp in 2014. That's when the Hadley Group was formed. Patterson Schwartz Associates offer you exceptional knowledge of local market conditions and a commitment to represent you honestly and professionally. So for your next purchase, life's too short to hate your home. Remodel your home with the pros voted Delaware's number one home improvement company. Ferris Home Improvements has something for every homeowner at their new showroom on a corner of Kirkwood Highway and Harmony Road in Newark, Delaware. Explore products and layouts with the area's top designers. Touch and feel products that inspire your dream space. Ferris Home Improvements pride in the details make them the area's best in roofing, windows and doors, siding, decks, kitchens and bathrooms. Want a professional no pressure remodel? Go see the best at the Big Shamrock on Kirkwood Highway. Ferris Home Improvements. Quality workmanship from a neighbor you can trust. And welcome back inside 302 Sports. Nick Allison Jr. alongside Jason Winchell, Nick Hall. And we are on hand live at St. Mark's High School for your Blue Hen Championship game between St. George's and AI. Jay, what a great first half. Back and forth. St. George's led most of the way. 23-14. to 14. The Hawks got a four-point lead here at the break. Yeah, uh, what a, a response there by AI after they were down 12 to 2. They were able to come back and cut it to just four points right before uh, halftime. So, um, you know, it's it's good uh, half for both teams. So we look over here at our stat sheet from the first half for St. George's. Bones led the way for them. Eight points for him, knocked down two triples and a finger roll. Tyrese Owens, he had a three himself. He ended the half with five points. Ahmad Taylor had a couple blocks, but also two points. McCants, four points for the big band. And Payton and Naaman Tucker rounded out with two points each. Over for the AI side, Rashawn George, big second quarter for him. He has six total points. Jameer Dantley, though, he led the way overall in the first half for the Tigers with seven. Daniel Bernard added three, and Kyle Morgan added three. And there's your scoring here, 23-19, four-point lead for St. George's. AI struggled a little bit out of the gates offensively, but that defense for St. George's has kept that intensity throughout the first half. Yes, absolutely, and uh, good job by them. Uh, I think both teams played excellent on defense. Nick, we were talking about the state tournament on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show everyone at home the bracket. 
Uh, so as you can see, some of the first round uh, matchups and the seeds for both uh, teams. Remember, it gets started Tuesday. The teams seed it one through eight get buys, and they will play on Thursday. Um, but that bracket for people at home um, provided by the graphics here at 302 Sports. But uh, just wanted to get that out there. Some interesting first ma round matchups. Apro St. Andrews, uh, the winner gets Sanford. Oh, that's your. That's and St. Andrews has prize. played them twice, so I mean, it's something to look at. Uh, also, we said AI, who's playing here, they're going to play Newark. Mm -hmm. yep. The winner gets St. George's. Wow. So, so, how about that? so if AI finds a way to get by Newark, they get a rematch of this uh, championship game here today. So, wow. It's already a good one. Could be already rematch worthy. We'll have to wait and see how it finishes off here as we're just moments away from the start of second half action. Again, live from St. Mark's, Nick Allison, Drini, Jason Winchell, and Nick Hall all on hand for the Blue Hen Championship game here for the boys' side of things in the state of Delaware. Like we said, both teams giving it 110% so far in this one. With the tournament, again, right around the corner, you mentioned it, bragging rights, the trophy, the whole nine yards here. Both teams want to be crowned the Blue Hen champs, but only one can. Right. And here we go. St. George is starting it back here to start the second half. They got a four-point lead. Bones pull up jump shot to get him going, and he draws the foul early. Now Bones gets to go to the foul line. St. George shooting free throws in the first half. You know, I don't think they did. I don't think they did. I think this is our first. And Bones cashes in on it. Whereas we saw AI get to the foul line a bunch of times in that first half. Now the second free throw on the way for Highland and gets it to go two of two from the line, 25-19. And you see now St. George picking up Dantley full court now. They've got someone running with Jameer Dantley for AI. Yeah, that's smart. So now working it around here. Bernard tries to get past McCants, picks it out to the wing. George. Tyrese Owen steps out on him. George goes around him, drives baseline, splits the defenders, tries that right-hand move, but there was a Mod Taylor with the block. Yeah, he's like a human eraser. Sean Warner getting called there for the contact on Bones as he was dribbling past the court here. They'll inbound right in front of us. And he's picked up two quick fouls to start the second half. And Bones can do that. Bones will make you uh, guard him tough where you could pick up some fouls. So now St. George has almost lost the ball there. It's on the floor, stolen there by AI. I, I thought it was, it was a kick ball myself, but I'm not called, so it goes down as a turnover. They trap Danley. He gets rid of it. Now it's Bernard on the drive. Up with the right hand. I believe it might have gotten tipped. Followed there by Warner, and now it's going to be a George three, and he knocks it down. And just like that, it's back to a three-point game. And the great game here continues. Under seven minutes to go, St. George's Owens. He's got a little bit of space. He'll let it fly short into the hands of the big man, McCants, for the second chance opportunity. And he gets fouled by Brahim Kelson. And he's a difference maker inside for the St. George's team with this height. He does a good job there, crashing the offensive rebound boards and getting drawing the foul and a chance to go to the line. McCants coming in at 6'6", the same height of his partner, for St. George's number 12, Ahmad Taylor also coming in at 6'6". So now we'll see how the big man does from the free throw line and nothing but net on the first. Wow, that was a great touch for the big man. And we saw that last night. Uh, Dover Biggs and Kate Biggs shot free throws really well, so it's good to see. Then one more coming on the way for McCants. Free throw, no good off the back rim, rebound to AI. So one of two from the line for McCants, 26-22, four-point lead for St. George's. Now it's Dantley. Drives, right hand, I think floater, and he did, looks like he traveled again yeah. for the walk. I, was, uh, I thought it looked like he traveled a little bit. So after the turnover, St. George's gets it back here, 6.30 to play. Still a four-point lead for the Hawks. Again, Highland 
leading the way for them. He's got 10, eight in the first half. He comes off the screen, they get it to him. He goes baseline. Nice bounce pass down low to Taylor, but it's stripped out. And then stripped back by Highland. There he is again, but then stolen. Great defense by both teams yeah. there. And now Highland on Rashawn George. George steps in, hop step in the lane, right hand won't go. Nice move there, just couldn't get the Yeah, I like, the, I like the way he took it to the basket there. Just everything but the finish. Here's the drive with the right hand up off the glass, no good. Rebound up for grabs into the hands of Tyrese Owens. And it looks like they're going to get St. George's for, or maybe AI. I believe it was offensive. And they'll get offensive. Tyrese Owens for yeah. St. George's. And that's his third foul. 26-22, so again, back and forth they go. Rinarelli set to check in, I believe, for Owens at the next whistle. Bones now on Sean George, he drives. Kicks to the corner. Moving the paint there for Brahim Kelson. I believe the foul was on Bones. That's the second. Team second. So Rinarelli checking in now for the Hawks, giving Owens a breather. And AI to inbound. Rashawn George got some space. He'll try another three. This one, though, long. Airballed into the hands of the Hawks and Kevin Payton. And now here they come, up ahead to Taylor, who gets in the paint, up with the left hand, what a block down low. Wow, we're seeing some uh, great blocks by both teams. That was an incredible block. Daniel Bernard in the paint, sends it away with the left hand, and now here come the Tigers the other way. This three, up, no good for Morgan. Rebound is reeled in by Morgan, throws it back up, no, Danley can't get the finish to go either. Saved right back in the hands of Kyle Morgan. Again, the hustle from both teams has been outstanding here, Nick. We talked about it. They're maintaining that same level of intensity here still in the second half. It's a little bit low, low, low score than we thought, but that's because both defenses have been outstanding. Danley around the back on Rinarelli, kicks to the corner. Morgan dribbles back up top of the key, hands it over to Kelson. So now they'll reset, 4.30 to go in the third. 26-22 lead for the Hawks. Danley cross court to George. Shoulder down goes baseline, Taylor defending him. Good defense there by Taylor, and the shot won't go. Quickly the other way is Bones, gets in the paint with the right hand off the glass, no good. McCants there for the putback, and he gets that to fall. Okay, hey, good finish. 28-22, George quickly the other way. And these putback attempts, no good. Looks like it's almost reeled in by McCants. And it is, and they'll get the foul, I believe, on AI. And it'll go against... Daniel Bernard. What a good pace to this one. Four team foul for AI here in the third, second half. So exactly four minutes to go in the third quarter. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they a little bit of scoreboard wrong for St. Mark's here. That's a deep three for Rinarelli. Just checked into the game, can't get it to go. Warner, though, got the rebound and almost got it poked away by Bones. And there they Time fix out. the scoreboard. AI. So. Timeout AI on the yeah, floor. That, that confused the heck out of me. <laughs> we saw the 28 25 on the board. I was like, oh, did I miss a three somewhere? But. It's uh, been a good good uh, game so far here, Nick. And, Absolutely. Uh, like we said, both these teams are getting ready for the tournament. And don't forget, after this one, we got the girls game, Hots and Howard here. A rematch of last year's Blue Hen Championship game that me and Nick got to see. Yeah, uh, that's right, and, and that was a great game. That was a great game, so I'm expecting more of it. Again, the girls' tournament starts Wednesday. The boys' tournament starts Tuesday. Check our website to find out where we'll be. We'll be at two, at least two first round games for boys, at least two first round games for girls. Um, and then second round boys is Thursday, second round girls is Friday. Um, so since we'll be at the games on Wednesday night, there will be no show. 
302 Sports Weekly this Wednesday. Sorry to break all your hearts out there, but we'll be bringing you live action anyway, so you'll get your fix of Delaware High School sports regardless on Wednesday night. Make sure you tune in to some of these playoff basketball games. Sure to be great games. And we've got a great one in front of us right now. 3.36 to go in the third. 28-22, six-point lead for St. George's Hawks over the A.I. DuPont Tigers. Both teams battling for the Blue Hen Championship game. The trophy sitting just behind us here. Yeah, stay tuned for our high five hospitality post game show where you will see the trophy presentation and try and get a interview with the player of the game. Warner wants the floater in the lane. Got it to go. Nice floater there, number 12, Sean Warner. The I senior. like the floater because it's, uh, it's almost impossible for the defense to block it. Now it's Bones, deep three for Highland. He wants it and knocks it down. Followed his shot anyway, but no need that time. He shot that from the parking lot out here at St. Mark's. I believe that's his third triple of the night, or of the evening day, whatever it is where we are today right now. 31-24, seven-point lead. Ball on the floor, picked up out of nowhere by AI. Bounce pass in the post. Bernard wants it, can't get the foul call down low. Shot won't go either. Ball on the floor, picked up by Dantley. And then he's fouled by Bones. That's his third. Let's see, uh, with 2.37 left here in the third quarter, see if they get give Bones a break. And they're going to leave him in. Now you expect the, you expect the senior leadership of him not to commit that fourth foul. And that ball almost thrown out in the backcourt by Danley, but it's going to be... Tracked down by Kelson, and, and now here comes that pressure for St. George the Pines, some two-man pressure up top to the backcourt of AI. Yep. Dantley now on the wing. Tries to go baseline. Step back three in the corner is good. What a move, Jameer Dantley. Step back corner three. That was an unbelievable shot, like you said, to step back the first, and then he buries it. And timeout, St. George's. 31-27, Danley answers the Bones three right back with a three of his own. That gives Danley 10 on the day, double digits for him, and AI now only down four. Yeah, it's been a uh, great game, and uh, Bones hits that deep three for the parking lot, and then you get a step back three pointer for AI to answer. This is unbelievable. Right in front of Coach Sibs over there, he's loving the action. Yeah, speaking of St. Mark's, they are the 10th seed. Ten. They will host Middletown here on Tuesday night. Winner of that travels to St. Elizabeth on Thursday. So St. Mark's and St. He's obviously in the Catholic Conference have played two times already, splitting the regular Getting season. Some rematches one. here throughout the state tour, potential rematches. I know me and Pat, will, uh, for the boys reveal, we were looking at some of the brackets and thought, wow. Um, also, nine seed Sussex Tech, if they sneak by uh, the 24th seed, Milford, they will face Slazy Anna, a team they played last Saturday. <laughs> so, I mean, this, this is a, incredible how the seedings kind of worked out this year. So under two minutes in the third quarter here, the Blue Hen Championship game, St. George's and AI. It's been a fantastic game so far. Tucker now baseline, floater with the right hand, and it's good. Seeing both offenses starting to pick it up a little bit here. Starting to get a little bit more hot each time down the floor. 33-27. Six-point lead now for St. George's. Danley wants another three. This one top of the key, a little too long. Skying for the rebound, though, is Bernard, and he gets the putback. Nicely done. Crash the offense aboard, Zay. 33-29 here. St. George's now with the ball. 123 up four. Kevin Payton, top of the key. Warner giving Bones the tough defense here. He'll still drive. Step back three is up. Short front rim. Rebound though into his own hands. Tries to save it, but throws it away to Rashawn George. George crossing over here. Not going to stop the ball. His floater too strong, though. Rebound reeled in by McCants. And then he gets an elbow to Warner. It'll be an offensive foul. So AI gets the ball back. Yeah. I think, like you said, it was the elbow that, that, that gets the call. If you're a big man getting those rebounds, got to watch when you bring the ball down where you're going with those elbows. Third, uh, third foul on him, fourth on the team. It's 
And we're going to have a sub, and they're quickly going to get McCants out of the game. They know yep. that's his third foul. Uh -huh. They'll quickly get him out. Ahmad Taylor, he'll check back in. So a minute to go in the third AI to inbound. They get it up top. Skies for it is George. Now it's Dantley. He wants to pull a three. Top of the key is good. Jameer Dantley contested three. Top of the key gets it to fall. And like you said, the hand was right in his face, and he buries it. Wow, that was incredible. A uh, one-point game here, Nick. 33-32, 40 seconds to go here in the third. AI and the Tigers, they've got some life and momentum. Bones, double team up top. Kicks it to the corner. Wide open, Naaman Tucker wants a three. No good. Rebound to Ahmad Taylor. Second chance opportunity for the Hawks. 24 on the clock. Gets to the foul line. Ball passes off the chest of Taylor. Reeled in by AI. And Danley couldn't hold on to it on the pass by Bernard. So right back to the Hawks we go. And a couple turnovers in a row. So St. George's, they got the ball. Up by one. 16 and a half seconds to go here in the third quarter. Yeah, but wow, this has been a great third quarter for both teams. Owens will quickly check back in for Kevin Payton. He's got three fouls as well. Excuse me, Tucker. Owens, though, he's out there with three fouls. 16 and a half to go. They inbound. Taylor hands back off to Bones. And yet Bones couldn't hold on to the handoff. No. So we've seen a pair of turnovers here in the last few seconds of this one. Another sub, St. George's with yeah, those strategic subs here. Bones will take a seat. Don't yeah. want to get him a foul here. Yeah, we'll just give him some rest as we head into the fourth. Mm -hmm. But now AI a chance. 14 seconds to go and a chance to either take the lead here. 10 seconds now for George. He'll drive. Up, floated off the glass, no good. Rebound to the hands of Warner. He's got four seconds. Kick out. Danley, a three with one to go. And short. So that would do it. A good clean look there for AI. Couldn't get the shot to fall. And after three quarters, Jay, here at the, for the Blue Hen Championship, St. George as they lead AI 33-32. to When we come back, fourth quarter action live from St. Mark's. Unique Image opened for business in Wilmington, Delaware in 1979 with one focus, wowing our customers with great products and even greater customer service. 30 years later, we are still doing exactly that. Whether you're looking for marketing tools to promote your business, gifts for your employees or clients, or planning a special event, we're here with the voice of experience to help you every step of the way for your complete satisfaction. Visit our new showroom in the Mill Creek Shopping Center, 4577 Kirkwood Highway. Unique Image, you envision, we create. Unique Image opened for business in Wilmington, Delaware in 1979 with one focus, wowing our customers with great products and even greater customer service. 30 years later, we are still doing exactly that. Whether you're looking for Mark... And welcome back inside 302 Sports, live from St. Mark's High School for your Blue Hen Championship game between the AI DuPont Tigers and the St. George's Votech Hawks. Nick Allison, Drini, Jason Winchell, Pops, Nick Hall, all on hand here live for this one. Just... Moments away from beginning the fourth quarter in what has been a spectacular first three quarters against St. George's. They got a one-point lead, but some great highlights so far in this one. Back and forth, it's been a great one. Yeah, this has been a really good game, entertaining. Both teams leaving everything on the court here, and it's a great environment here. And the crowd has gotten bigger and bigger since the game started, really packing it in here now. And now we begin with a one-point lead for St. George's. They're being led by Bones. He's got 13. The Tigers, they're led by Danley. He's got 13. And we'll see where we go from here in the fourth. Bernard here gets in the paint. Nice move with the right hand and draws the foul. Might be on Bones. And if it is, that could be his fourth. So let's wait and see. Nope. And it looks like they're going to give it to Kevin Payton. Good if you're a Hawks fan. Now two free throws coming for Daniel Bernard, the senior. And his first free throw, no good. A little long off the back of the rim. And AI struggled from, from the free throw line here today. Yeah, and in a one-point game, if you knock down a couple of these free throws, all of a sudden you might have the lead. So something I think they want to work on before the tournament next week. Second free throw, though, is good for Bernard. So we're all knotted up here, 33 apiece. 7.40 to go here in the fourth quarter of your Blue Hen Championship game. Payton up top, looking down low, gets it to McCants. He's triple-teamed, hands it off to Ahmad Taylor, but what a block by Jameer Dantley. 
And Danley's been putting on a show here in these last couple and minutes. And he erased that ball. That was an unbelievable block. A 302 Sports top plate nominee right there. Great work there by Danley. Doing a lot for the Tigers here in this one. Kicks it up top to Owens. Owens will reset it up top. Warner playing the defense here on Highland. Trying to deny the ball. They get it to the corner. Owens open for three. He's knocked down one already. That one's short. And rebound tracked down by Rashawn George. Hey, he came, he got high for that rebound. Unbelievable. A lot of athleticism on the court in this one for both teams. Now it's Rashawn George up top. We hit the seven minute mark all tied up in this one. He drives baseline. Kicks it out to the corner. Dantley, same spot as earlier. What's another one and got it. Wow. Jameer Dantley. Is on fire right now. And AI, I believe that's their first lead of the game. And it, it comes was. here in the fourth Absolutely. quarter. You're right. 6.42 to play now. Three point lead for the Tigers. Kick to the corner. Kevin Payton wants to answer with a three of his own. Can't rebound George. He'll quickly take it up here. Almost lost it. Able to reel it in. Dantley works his way back into that corner that he's fell in love with here in the second half. Warner's going to drive baseline. Floater with the right hand. Too strong. Rebound. No good. Put back. Bernard. And now we're going to have a jump ball. We have a tie up between Bernard and McCants. The arrow goes to AI. I believe it goes to St. George. Oh, no, excuse me, St. George's. I'm pretty sure. It is indeed St. George's now. Uh, so there you go, tie ball. Arrow points the way of the Hawks. The Hawks get the ball back here. And now they're down three position. They haven't been in all game long. 6-12 to go. Yeah, and uh, their AI got two or uh, three offensive rebounds and were not able to convert, so. And AI overall giving up a little bit of height, so, the re so them getting us offensive rebounds is good. It's going to be a three-foot corner for Peyton this time. The other corner won't go either. And we have a loose ball battle going on under the basket, and we'll have a jump ball because both players kind of had it and fell out of bounds. So now the arrow will go the way of the Tigers. Yeah, yeah I will get it this time. But you can see both uh, teams are getting active on the glass. So 36, 33, like we said, AI very active on the glass. Three-point lead for him now as we hit under six minutes to go. And the Blue Hand Championship for Sean George. He did a lot in the first half for him. Danley's been their second half guy. And now Warner. Dribble handoff to Danley. He's got some space, he'll let it fly for three. Too strong rebound though to Kyle Morgan. Tracks it down in the corner, gets it up top. Good job getting the offensive board again for AI and then bring it out and reset the offense. Owens on George, he's got three fouls. And they're gonna get George for the offensive foul, either a push or a hook or something right in front I of us I believe here. it was a five second call oh. before the offensive foul. Good call, Jay. Way to keep me honest. So now Highland's controlling it here, down three. Pull up three. He was going to take that from the moment he touched the ball. Rebound to Ahmad Taylor. Second chance opportunity is good, and count the foul. Yep, and now a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play to tie it up. And we haven't spoke a bunch of, much about Ahmad Taylor in this one so far, but there he is. Obviously been doing it on the defensive end a couple blocks so far in this one. And yes. now a chance to tie the game. So the free throw here and the chance to complete the three-point play for Taylor. No good. Rebound, though, is he'll hauled in by the Hawks. And that's good. What a play there. Lamar Wright, the 5'4 guard. Above the trees down yep. there, Jay, for the second chance bucket. And he gets it and uh, gives St. George's the lead as we're back on the seesaw here. And now George, a kick off to Warner. The crowd on St. George's side now into it big time. Dantley, the drive. Ball's reeled in down low. Could have been a jump ball. It was stolen by St. George's, but they were out of bounds, so ball will go back to AI. Again, active defense as AI got into the lane, but St. George's was there. 37-36 after that four-point possession down this end of the way for the Hawks. Their lead by one now, 4.40 to go. George will drive. Float hand with the right hand. Wow. There it is. I couldn't even get it out of my yeah. mouth there. Same move by Rashawn George. Loves it. 
and such soft touch with that right hand. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Again, with the block, he gets it over the outstretched hands of the block. 420 to go, 37-38. Excuse me, 38-37, and then a turnover on Highland. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I think it was. Did they get him on the screen? What did they call? I call it, I believe it's fouls on AI. And we're gonna have to wait and see here. Yeah, it's on. Sean Warner, was it on Warner? It might have been on Sean Warner. If it is, that's sure. his fourth. Highland gets in the paint, the right hand is good. What a floater, soft floater from the paint for Highland. And we're back on that seesaw. What a game here live from St. Mark's for the Blue Hen Championship. 39-38, St. George's, they lead. Belson drives, tries to get it down low to Bernard, it's stolen. Here comes Lamar right the other way. Speeds past the AI defenders, the right hand is up and he draws the foul. And wow, he showed his speed there. He got down there in a hurry, didn't he? And then an injury looks like for AI is not good if you're at Tiger fan, Rashawn George is going to be able to walk off under his own power. Looked like he fell on that ankle going up to contest yes. that layup. And he's been big for AI, so if he can't go, that would hurt him. Rollins, he'll check in for him. Rashawn George, we all hope he's okay. He heads to bench. Yep. Like you said, we all hope that he's okay with the state tournament coming up Tuesday. And now if you're the coaching staff for AI, you now got to figure out if he is maybe okay in a couple minutes. There's tw four minutes left. Do you put him back in for the Blue Hen Championship or do you just hold him out and wait for the state tournament? That's a tough That's call. A big question. Uh, yeah, you... That's a tough call if you're AI. That free throw, no good. So Lamar right now, free throw on the way for him. No good again, so misses both free throws. Well, I, th I think uh, both teams want to clean up the free throw shooting. That's for sure. That's something they'll work out at practice, get ready for the state tournament. One point lead. The drive from Belson, throws it up. Contested shot there, good defense by St. George's. Yes. So now Bones the other way. He can smell blood. Deep three for him is no good. Deep off the back I hit rim. The cable. So it'll be out of bounds. Well, like you said, he, he smelled blood of the water. He came down, he was pulled yeah, off. You could tell he wanted to let that one go and almost went down. A little too strong, out of bounds, ball back to AI, and still a one point lead as we hit the 320 mark here in the fourth quarter of your Blue Hen Championship game between AI and St. George's, and what a game it's been. Yes, it has. 313 now to play. AI down one, they've got the ball. Kelson, hands off to Morgan. Owens on Morgan. Owens has three fouls. They give it to Dantley. They'll double Dantley back to Morgan. Under three minutes we go. AI a little congested up top. We'll see what they end up doing. They'll hand off to Dantley and back over to Morgan. So very patient here are the Tigers. Taking about 40 seconds off the clock here so far on this possession. Dantley hands off to Rollins. He goes through the Bernard screen. Back over now to Kelson. And that's Owens. That'll be his fourth foul. I believe he got him with the hand check. Made yep. contact with the face there. 16 foul, so it's the last non-shooting foul. So the rest of the way will be shooting free throws. So now 2.33 to go in this one. Payton will check back in for the Hawks. Owens takes a seat with four fouls. And now here we go, 2.30 to go. Like you said, what we saw there is AI ran about a whole minute off the clock and they're doing so again, so. Kelson, hands off to Morgan. Morgan passes over to Rollins on the wing. And now we have a timeout. Time 30 second timeout for AI with 214 left here. Finds himself down 39-38 in a close Blue Hat Championship game. I'm going to say, here we go, Jay. Back and forth. We've been all game long. Now AI, they've got the ball. They've taken a minute off the clock. They're down one. The man who scored their last basket, Rashawn George, he's had a great game for him. He has 11 points, exited with an ankle injury a few moments ago. We'll, we'll unsure about him. He'll probably not be able to come back in this one, you would think. So AI, big loss for them offensively, especially. 
Yes. But, uh, you know, he, and maybe that's why we saw the last time down here on offense to so take some time off the clock. You know, they make that decision easier whether or not he, he can come back in or not. So 2.14 to go to settle the Blue Hen champions. AI and St. George's, great seasons for both teams. Both teams in the state tournament that starts on Monday or Tuesday. And now just two minutes and a backcourt violation. A big time mental mistake yes. there for AI yep. at a crucial time. Easy and call for the official to make right in front of him. And now 2 11 to play, one point lead for the Hawks. And now ball, is, or ball in the hands of their man, the Sean Highland. And we'll see if he can close it for him. Still two minutes to go. And the winner of this one will be crowned your Blue Hen champions. Right here on 302 Sports. Cross court over to Kevin Payton on the wing. 148 to go. They'll reset up top. And again, they're going to do exactly as AI did. Be very patient about this offensive possession. Get the best possible shot here and try to execute their offense. Payton on the cut, up with the right hand. Good block down low by Kyle Morgan. But it will remain here with the Hawks, yep. 133 to go. But again, we've seen the AI defense inside. They are throwing a block party. We're going to have a full time out here. Why don't we take a quick break with them, and we'll come back for the conclusion of this exciting game. Credit Union. No matter where you are in life, at every stage, we are here for you, for all of life's big moments and everything in between. After all, that's what families are for. We promise to make a positive difference in your financial life and go beyond the norm. Be a part of the Dover Federal Family. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. And we welcome you back inside St. Mark's High School Gymnasium here in Wilmington, Delaware, live on 302 Sports. Nick Allison, Drini, Jason Winchell, Pops, Nick Hall all on tap here for the Blue Hen Championship game, which features the Tigers of AI DuPont and the Hawks of St. George's. And it's been back and forth all game long, Jay. A great game so far. Now the minute 33 to go. It's a one-point lead for St. George's. Yeah, they have the ball, and I think that was a good timeout. Draw something up. But we've seen both teams now the last few times Possession, taking some valuable minutes off the clock, slowing it down. So uh, you're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Uh, both teams are in the bonus, so it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, see who, what team knocks down the free throws here to close this one out. Lamar right now, under a minute and a half we go. Highland over to Peyton on the wing. And you're going to look, obviously, to see if they're going to get the ball back in the hands of Highland. They're up by one. Warner. Locked at the hip with Bones. They're going to try to deny him everything. And now Wright will just hold it up here, trying to take some time off the clock. Back out to Payton. A minute six to play. And they're just going to pass this ball around here. We're used to seeing it. Oh, Danley got a hand on it. What a steal by Danley. The other way, and he's fouled. There you go. That's the only problem you have to work on. You know, you're trying to run the clock. You have to avoid the turnover. And there, the great steal. Like you said, great hands. And if you would have looked up, he maybe had his teammate for an easy layup. But obviously, with you know, you just oh, you're going the other way. Tough to see. He'll get fouled. He'll head to the free throw line for two. A chance to tie or take the lead here. And guess the first one to go. That's Stanley's 17th point of yeah, the he's afternoon. Been pretty good tonight. AI needed him. Yes, they did. In big moments, he did come up big. We'll see if he can come up even bigger for him here. 56 seconds to go, 39 39. And the second free throw is good for Dantley. That gives AI the lead back, 40-39. Under a minute we go, ball in the hands of Highland. And hold on, Jay, we're coming in for a landing. Yeah, you're not kidding. What a blue hand championship game. You hear the crowd, they're into it, Bones. His pull up three is good. It's money. Wow. Bones Highland knocks down the triple. That gives St. George's a two point lead, 42-40, 35 to go. That was a great shot, and that, what well, we see, big time players make big time plays in big time games and there Bones does it again 
What a shot. Unbelievable. And he had a play player from AI right in his face. Did not let it affect him, and he buries a huge three-point shot to give St. George's a two-point lead. What a shot there by Bones. They're loving it here on this side of the bench over to our left. Gives them a two-point lead. Just a nice pull-up from the top of the key for Highland, able to knock it down. That gives him 18 on the afternoon. Him and Danley been going at it all afternoon long, and what yes. a coincidence, Jay, they both have 18. Yeah, and uh, like you said, they've been going at it all day long. And uh, there, you know, one hits two free throws to put his team ahead. The other one hits the three-pointer to put his team back in front. Uh, and we still got 30 seconds left, so, I mean, this is far from over. 42-40, still 31 seconds to play. Just a one-possession game. AI, they've got the ball down two. So just 31 seconds separating... These teams from the Blue Hen Championship right now. And here we go, the teams, they're set to take the floor. 31 seconds to play in this one for your Blue Hen Championship. AI and St. George's, and AI will inbound into the hands of their man, Jameer Dantley. Under 30 to go. That's, uh, I'm sure that's who AI wants the ball. Dantley. He's going to sit up top, right on him. Here comes the screen from Bernard. 16 seconds. Dantley around it. They're looking for a walk. They blew the whistle here. We don't know what happens. It looks like they're going to call the walk. But they weren't sure about it if he walked or not. It was a weird call here. Yeah. And they're going to get him for the walk. Uh, I, I, that is the correct call, but I think it was like a baby whistle. You couldn't hear the whistle yeah. in here because it was so loud. And it was the trail official who was over by where we were. Yeah. So a little bit of confusion there, but it was a travel. I believe Danley did walk. So ball back to St. George's. They have the ball up to 12 seconds. Your AI either go for a quick steal or you got a foul. and then a foul. So let's see what they do. Danley locked up on Bones, trying to get it in. They throw it up to McCants. And they foul the big man, so McCants will head to the free throw line with 11 seconds. St. George is up two, so the big man could ice it potentially. Right, yep, thanks both here. Again, it's one to one now, so. Oh, what a game. Wow. So McCants will step to the free throw line. Big shots for the big man. 11 seconds to go in the Blue Hen Championship. St. George is up by two. So here comes the free throw for McCants. It's up and good. Knocks it down. What a big time free throw for McCants. Yeah, like you said here, the second one give him a two possession lead. I think it's smart St. George's. Don't want any fouls that are going to no one in for the rebound. So here they go. This is a big free throw for Michael McCants. A chance to put it to a two-possession game, like you said, Jay, with just 11 seconds to play. And he does. What a free throw. 44-40. That's huge. 10 seconds to play. Rashawn George back in the game for AI. He's going to put up a three. Tries to float it in. Rebound is there for Morgan. Three seconds for Morgan. Tries to put it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound St. George's, and that'll do it. Yep, St. George's are your Blue Hen Conference champions. Nicely done by St. George's at the closing of this game. They're pulling out, but what a hard fault. Both teams brought it here today. We were treated to an excellent Blue Hen Championship game. Absolutely. Highland, he led the way for the Hawks. 18 points for him. Michael McCants was second with nine and a big time win for St. George's. 44 to 40 over the AI DuPont Tigers. A fantastic game all the way through, but the Hawks, they are crowned your 2019 Blue Hen Conference champions. And they are gonna have some momentum heading into that state tournament on, I believe when they play the second round, because they have a first round bye. Yes, and they'll get the winner of the AI Newark game. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll come back for the trophy presentation and our player of the game.
Victor Italian began his career in home finance in 2002 as a mortgage consultant. Since 2002, Brian has helped over 1,000 home buyers achieve their dreams of owning a home. Brian's knowledge of current market conditions and his detailed evaluation of buyers' finances ensures that each buyer will receive the best mortgage to fit their needs. Brian is often commended on how efficient and effortless he makes the mortgage process for everyone from first-time home buyers to investors to experienced buyers for the low. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Soto Concepts. Soto Concepts is an award-winning restaurant group on the culinary coast with 10 locations. We're a chef-driven group. Come check us out. See you soon. Soto Concepts believes in the vision of our founder, Matt Haley. Cook beautiful, simple food, develop the people we work with, and make the world a better place. Soto Concepts. And welcome back inside 302 Sports. You're right now seeing the trophy being handed to the St. George's Hawks here. Congratulations to them once again. Big time win for St. George's. They are your Blue Hen Conference champions, Jay. And Bones, he led the way, 18 for them. McCants had nine. Owens with five, right two. Ahmad Taylor, four. Kevin Payton with two. And Naaman Tucker with four. But a great job also defensively from the St. George's team. Yeah, they really pulled it out uh, here at the end. But Bones hits that big three-pointer to give them the lead. But two big free throws by McCants there yeah. with 11 seconds left. And St. George's was able to pull out a hard fought 44 40 win here over AI DuPont in a instant classic Blue Hen Championship game. Yeah, it was a great game, like you said, back and forth all the way through. Bones, though, with a huge three down the stretch to give St. George's the lead back with about 11, 15 seconds to go. Danley had a couple big time threes down the stretch for AI, but it wouldn't be enough as Highland and the Hawks were able to take home and be crowned the Blue Hen Conference champions. And Jay, have to name our player of the game. Who you got? I am going with Bones Highland. He hits the big time three point shot to put his team in the lead for good there uh, with 30 seconds left. And he is our high five hospitality player of the game. And uh, we'll see after this ceremony if he'll gladly come over here and, and talk yeah. with you, Nick. But. Uh, what a, ga a good win here for St. George. Like you said, now they have the first round by. They can go on Tuesday to Newark to watch AI Newark and see who they will face Thursday night in the second round. And like you said, could be a potential rematch between AI and St. George. Something to look out for next week. But again, a special congratulations to the St. George's Hawks for winning the Blue Hen Championship game. And again, AI, congratulations to them as well. Great season for AI, and that obviously still rolls on to the state tournament. Yeah, it was it was like you said, it was a hard fought game. Contested real well. AI got down twelve to two to start this game. Yeah. And you could have easily won away. Like we said, it's a game really other than the Blue Hand Championship. Uh, but they fought back and uh, uh, had the lead there in the closing seconds uh, before Bones hits that big three point shot. And that's a good win for St. George's. And we got Bones over here taking pictures with kids, signing babies. He's doing the whole nine yards here after this conference championship. What a display by him and St. George's. And now him and Coach getting a good picture. And congratulations yeah, again to the Hawks. Yeah, that's like you said, it's a good win for the Hawks. Uh, like you said, takes that momentum into the state tournament, uh, being the five seed. Um, and then, you know, they really had to put this one out here uh, against uh, St. George's. Well, we'll take a... Quick break, Quick and we'll see, break. see if we can get an interview with Bones. No matter where you are in life, at every stage, we are here for you, for all of life's big moments, and everything in between. After all, that's what families are for. We promise to make a positive difference in your financial life, and go beyond the norm. Be a part of the Dover Federal family. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. No matter where you are in life, at every stage, we are here for you. For all of life's big moments and everything in between. After all, that's what families are for. We promise to make a positive difference in your financial life and go beyond the norm. Be a part of the Dover Federal family. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. 
No matter where you are in life, at every stage, we are here for you, for all of life's big moments and everything in between. After all, that's what families are for. We promise to make a positive difference in your financial life and go beyond the norm. Be a part of the Dover Federal family. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. No matter where you are in life, at every stage, we are here for you, for all of life's big moments and everything in between. After all, that's what families are for. We promise to make a positive difference in your financial life and go beyond the norm. Be a part of the Dover Federal family. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. No matter where you are in life. Sale. Think the Hadley Group. Visit our website at thehadleygroupre.com. The Hadley Group is your local real estate resource. Brian Hadley joined Patterson Schwartz & Associates in 2005. In 2013, Nicole Flora joined Brian, followed by Emma Burnett and Grant Jepp in 2014. That's when the Hadley Group was formed. Patterson Schwartz Associates offer you exceptional knowledge of local market conditions and a commitment to represent you honestly and professionally. So for your next purchase or sale, think The Hadley Group. Visit our website at thehadleygroupre.com. The Hadley Group is your local real estate resource. To promote your business, gifts for your employees or clients, or planning a special event, we're here with the voice of experience to help you every step of the way for your complete satisfaction. Visit our new showroom in the Mill Creek Shopping Center, 4577 Kirkwood Highway. Unique image, you envision, we create. Unique Image opened for business in Wilmington, Delaware in 1979 with one focus, wowing our customers with great products and even greater customer service. 30 years later, we are still doing exactly that. Whether you're looking for marketing tools to promote your business, gifts for your employees or clients, or planning a special event, we're here with a voice of experience to help you every step of the way for your complete satisfaction. Visit our new showroom in the Mill Creek Shopping Center, 4577 Kirkwood Highway. Unique Image, you envision, we create. Unique Image opened for business in Wilmington, Delaware in 
wife, I love helping our airmen and their families with financial tools to help provide financial stability. I promise to make a positive difference in your financial life, from helping you to lower your payments to discovering ways to help you save for your children's future. From the needs of college students and first-time auto buyers, I promise to identify and take ownership of your needs. Local people, local decisions, Dover Federal Credit Union. They joined Patterson Schwartz & Associates in 2005. In 2013, Nicole Flora joined Brian, followed by Emma Burnett and Grant Jepp in 2014. That's when the Hadley Group was formed. Patterson Schwartz Associates offer you exceptional knowledge of local market conditions and a commitment to represent you honestly and professionally. So for your next purchase or sale, think The Hadley Group. Visit our website at thehadleygroupre.com. And welcome back inside 302 Sports for your Blue Hen Championship Boys post-game quick show here. The gals and journey Jason Lynch are on hand for a great Blue Hen Championship game. St. George's, they take down A.I. DuPont to be crowned the champions 44-40. to And Jay, a great game. Bones with that pull-up three with about 15 seconds to give St. George's the lead back. He finished with 18 points, and the Hawks are your Blue Hen champs. Yeah, Bones, like you said, he hits that big three-pointer. He becomes our high-five hospitality player of the game. Oh. Uh, we were going to try and grab an interview with him, but he seems to be a, such a popular guy yeah, here. He's uh, for all pictures. over the place, yeah. Uh, so I don't know if we're going to get him before we sign off here. Uh, but if not, uh, just let everyone know that he uh, he was the player of the game, and uh, he hit that big shot for St. George. It's a big 44-40 uh, win here at St. Mark's to take home the Blue Hen Championship game. Uh, Kind of a back and forth fourth quarter there where both teams had the lead. Both teams would give up the lead. And uh, at the end of the day, it was, um, you know, the, the great defense there by St. George's. But at the end of the game, the big three-pointer to seal the deal and give St. George's the flight A championship as they're emerging from the locker room from downstairs uh but uh a good win for st george's and uh, a great blue hand championship game so hopefully the girls is just as good as the boys because yeah, uh, it's a rematch too so on paper it might be that good it, just remember that's gonna be on a separate stream they they put 30 minutes on the clock we would probably like to you know we would like to come back or maybe in 20 25 minutes and yep, we'll and have your pregame show bring your pregame show again that's on a separate stream um, you know, so tune in there. Uh, we'll give Bones a few seconds here. Uh, but if not, we'll sign off and uh, we'll be back later for the, I'd say in 20, 25 minutes, we'll be back for the girls' championship game again between Flight B champs Howard Wildcats, who I believe are seated 11th in the upcoming tournament, and the Flight A champs, Hots and Silver Eagles, who are going to be seated 7th in the upcoming state tournament. So that that will do it here for the boys game. Uh, any final thoughts, thoughts Nick? Um, just a great overall game. I, I'm not saying I didn't expect to see the intensity and effort that we did see in both teams. Even with the state tournament around the corner, maybe this game not necessarily meaning everything, but both teams gave it their 110% here today, and both teams looked very good, and both teams playing some good basketball heading into the state tournament. Yeah, both teams are, you know, had an excellent... What, like you said, the intensity was there yeah, all game long. Was, absolutely. Diving for loose balls. It, it tells you how important this Blue Hand Championship was to all the players involved in a good win here for St. George's as they get ready for the upcoming state tournament. And AI has a lot to hang their head on. They played yeah, they an played outstanding well. game, uh, especially when they got down 12-2. to They were able to come back and, at the end of the day, just fall short. But... St. George's Tech is your flight A, is your Blue Hen champions. Uh, that will do it here for game one. Again, tune in on the separate stream for the girls game uh, later in, I'd say, about 20, 25 minutes, Nick. Yep, we'll be back with your pregame show, Blue Hen Girls Championship Action, just about 20 minutes away. We'll be back here on 2 Sports. For Nick Allison, Drini, Jason Winchell, Pops, and Nick Hall, we'll see you soon.